Okay, I just wanted to take a few seconds to show you a few more tips in still clips. Um, like I said earlier, uh, you can, like this was too big and I made it fit in the screen. Well, the same thing works with uh, images that are too small. You can click on it, choose right click, scale to frame size, and at least uh, makes it fit top and bottom right there to make it work. Now I mentioned uh, in the examples the uh, Ken Burns effect where the image looks like it's coming at you or uh, zooming out. Uh, the way you do that is if you double click on the image and go to the source panel and then go to the effect controls. If you go under motion if you've ever done like Adobe uh, Flash or After Effects, you got um, keyframes. Now I'm going to adjust the scale. So what I need to do is click on the little toggle animation, and it creates what you call a keyframe. That's a frame, a state like point A. Now further down the timeline at the end, see the playheads at the end, is point B. I'm going to click this add keyframe. Now you can't see, you can see a little bit of it right there. Now what I want it to do is zoom in, so I'm going to click and drag that up, and you might even could position it. So watch. Now I want to create a keyframe for position right there as well and move that back down. So, and then keyframe and move that up. So, there. So, it kind of that's where you want it. So, if you if you want to change the position, you create a keyframe. If you want to change the size, you create a keyframe from point A to point B. Now you could even like rotate it or make it um, change the opacity, which is uh, make it see through to kind of kind of make it fade in to, to kind of blend. But that that applies to video. Like let's do this one. I'm going to right click and scale that to frame size, make it bigger, and go to effect controls, motion, scale. I'm going to go to the first frame, create a keyframe, go to the last one right here, keyframe. there so so you can make it go as fast or slow as you want alright so let's watch how some of this plays out so there you go now you can do the same thing with uh, the text now I can add transitions as well like uh, video transitions you can make it dissolve like the title dissolve in see how it dissolves in or I can do it manually with the title whoops I can I got under effect controls change opacity I got point A now I want I'm about this point to be fully visible right there. So I'm going to go back to point A and start about 23% and it fades in that way. So that's how you do it. Now I could even use some motion. I could scale it down. To 100%, right 
there. Could even have it move there. So there you go. All right. So those are just a few tricks um, with uh, the effect controls. Changing the scale, the position, and the opacity. The more effects you use on the still clips assignment, the better grade you get. So um, play around with it and have some fun. Now, let's set one more trick I want to show you. Um, let's say I I zoomed in on this picture. Now I, I like the Ken Burns effect, so I'm going to choose copy. And let's say I got this. Uh, picture here. Right here I'm going to scale to frame size but I'm going to go paste attributes. Now you got to copy one that you've already done but if you paste attributes it automatically copies the effect controls from the previous one. Now you can modify it and play around with it. So basically you just got to do it to one of them, and pay. And I can I could go paste again, paste the att attributes there again, or not. But uh, once you copy one, you can just go paste, 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 and and it uh, copies the same attributes. You might have to adjust the keyframes and the effect controls here and there, but that's it. But uh, those are some tips to help make your uh, video turn out better. I uh, hope you enjoy them.